What's up you guys? Uh, this is Mango's introduction video, and yes, it's super late. Uh, in the next couple of days, it's literally gonna be two months since we've had her, but whatever. Uh, this is Mango, raw, form, naked. Uh, this is outfit number one. This is her with her collar. It's got her ID information, uh, her rabies information for when she gets lost, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is an outfit that Grandma bought her, her very first outfit. I've never been a fan of putting clothes on dogs, but I'm not gonna lie. She look kinda cute, you No, know? Uh, this is her fancy outfit, you know what I mean? Uh, fancy polo. She's shaking a little bit because she ain't a fan of the sleeves, but it's alright. It look cute. And then this is her rain jacket. Honestly, purely for looks because, pff, who are we kidding? We don't go outside. That's not a thing in this house, okay? And this is her heather gray hoodie. It's got pockets and everything. Honestly, my favorite. And it keeps her warm. Uh, it's a little baggy, this little peanut shirt, but you know, for lazy days, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then we got this security shirt, and I think that collar, or that thing on her neck is from when she went from grooming, and small dog, big heart. It's a little tight, I know, it's a little tight on her, I think she's gained a little bit of weight since we had her, but it's fine, she eating good, she healthy, you know what I'm saying, it's all good. And she absolutely hated the fashion show so I had to give her a little something something so watch her uh enjoy watching her munch on some food okay bye today's August 4th you guys and Mango say hello she's not with it she's so mad <laughs> but in two days um it'll be officially two months since we adopted Mango um She's still definitely nervous. Um, she's a lot more comfortable with me, and I think it's because she spends the most time with me. Um, obviously on my bed right now. And that is her corner of the bed. She does have an actual doggy bed. Sorry, these are all the pillows that I have not put back on my bed. Uh, she usually has this bed, but I don't know why I didn't put it on the bed today. Uh, we don't know too much about Mango's history um we adopted her from a lady um in tennessee so we drove all the way to tennessee it was like a 14 plus like all the stops we took to take breaks and whatever um it was about 14 15 hours to get there to pick her up then we stayed at a hotel overnight and then we left the next morning um but not much is known about her history um I do know that she was born on February 20th uh, of last year, so she's a little over a year old. And I have asked for photos of her family, um, but the lady never got back to me, so. I have looked through the lady's Facebook page, not to creep, y'all. Well, to creep, but not on her. Uh, trying to find pictures of Mango, and I have found like a couple of baby pictures of her, but no pictures of like siblings or her parents um and the only pictures that I found of her um when she was a little bit older is her outside so I think she was an outdoor dog um these are just assumptions I don't know but just kind of based on her behavior and how nervous she is around people um it doesn't seem like she had a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction with people and uh and According to the lady, she's a chihuahua. I went ahead and bought a DNA kit just because I was curious and I'm going to insert the footage of that process right now. Right now. I just got out of the shower, but hear me out. Look what came in the mail today. Mango! Your DNA kit came in the mail. Ooh. Embark DNA dog test. So the kit that I bought is the breed and health one. I think this is originally 200 bucks, but I can add a code. So I got $50 off, so it's 150 Okay, let's see. Um, screen for 170 plus genetic health conditions, test for 250 plus breeds, discover ancestry and family tree, back to great grandparents, find and connect with your pup's relatives. Research partner of Cornell University College of Veterinary Medicine. This video's not sponsored. I bought this on my own. So you slide that off and then that's cool. so <clears throat> it says unleash your dog story 
Welcome to the Embark Pack. We're getting ready. So, looks like there's three steps. One is I have to activate the code. Second step is going to be to swab. And then third step is to send. Mango, leave the pants. Okay, so let's see. Kit activation is complete. Swab tube number. Let's see. Make sure it's been 30 minutes since your last ate. Swab lower cheek pouches for 30 to 60 seconds. Oh god, Mango, we have to do this for 30 to 60 seconds. Oh lord. Oh girl, don't look at me like that. Please, please don't freak out. I love you, okay? Start. I know. <laughs> I know. Relax. Relax. Mango, relax. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Where am I? Come on, mama. Oh, yes. Yummy. Oh, this looks so mean. Ew, my foot. It's gross. Good girl. What a good girl. <gasps> You're done! Okay. Oops, cancel. Okay. I don't even know if it worked. But there you go. That was 60 seconds. Good job, baby! I know, that was horrible. Okay. And then reward your dog with a good job. Good job, baby. I know. That's the worst part, okay? I promise. I'm never doing that again. Dropping it in here. And we're gonna seal it off. And that's it. Right? I'll probably just put my um, address there, but that's super easy. No posts is necessary. Boom. So mail already came today. So my face is so red. You did so good. She's so mad. That was easy. All right, bye. And the results of her DNA test was kind of surprising. I don't know if you guys can see. But 66.5% Chihuahua, 11.7 Russell Type Terrier, 9.6 Maltese, 12.2 Super Mutt, which I guess includes Miniature Schnauzer, Croc Crocker, Cocker Spaniel, and Shih Tzu. This is kind of what I suspected that one of her parents, um, which I'm assuming is her mom, um, it's a chihuahua and then her dad is just completely a mixed dog um, But again, I don't really care. It doesn't really bother me. You are tired from your fashion show But before I go one last thing I'm gonna show you Her corner of the room. So sorry my room is such a mess, but this is my bed and That corner is all hers. I usually have her bed there and all of her blankets and stuff So that's her corner when people come into my room and we're both in here she does get a little bit territorial and she will growl and if you get closer she will bark at you i don't know why i think she just feels like that's her corner so she's a little bit possessive over that corner anywho this is mango's corner of the room and that is my bra because she likes to grab my clothes i don't know why but it's such a mess maybe i should clean up a little bit um but i've got her little feeding corner here <laughs> such a mess sorry feeding corner yeah so i've got her kennel Obviously, we had to go with pink and a pink bed and a unicorn blanket. Um, and then I've got dog treats in here. Uh, she got a stinky breath. I don't know what it is. I, th I think it's a small dog. I don't know. But she got a stinky breath. So we got um, some, what are these? Oral hygiene chews for dogs. These are for small dogs, I think. Yeah. For stinky breath. Um, toothpaste, toothbrushes, because she seriously got stinky breath. It ain't even a joke. Um, then I got her bin here, which is obviously a mess. Um, that has her clothes in it, um, her heartworm medication, uh, we use Interceptor, and I go through Chewy. I get most of my stuff, if not all my stuff, from Chewy. Um, her little diapers when she was in heat, but now that her heat is pretty much over, we're going to set her appointment up to get spayed. Oops, wet wipes, because we wet wipes all the time. Floral wipes, just in case she makes a mess on the floor. Um, I got some extra puppy pads, well, one, two puppy pads. Um, travel water bowl, and then this mess here that I need to organize her. All of her previous medications, um, 
all of her vet bills every time we've had a vet that's busy. I keep all the paperwork. This is her little puppy passport that the lady gave us when we adopted her. Ah! And that's her. That's her previous name that I crossed out. Her birthday. Yada yada. Um, so she's up to date with all of her shots and everything. We will clean that up later. And then I impulsively bought this $100 couch for my dog because I, I don't know why. But it's really cute and she does use it quite a bit. Here's some dental chew. I try to give her one every day, but she wasn't feeling that today. A little couch. Um, I also got this on Chewy, and I will link everything here down below. I will do my best to do so. Little Eevee poster that my brother got me, and a little plush that my brother also got me. That's all dog food. <laughs> and then I got this from the aquarium last year. Um, Hi, Mango. She's like, what's happening? Um, this is her little crochet blanket that the lady um, that we adopted her from made, which was actually really cute. So we keep this here. And then she's got a plethora of toys. There's more around the house, but, <laughs> but that's our introduction to Whittle Mango. Can you say bye? <laughs> All right, say bye to the folks. See you in the next vlog. Okay, bye.